and as you can see this is the University of Ghana Stadium this is where we use uh, you can see these are some of the volunteers around here and for us as uh, media and those are the security personnel and for us as uh, media this is where we are just need to climb by the way at the stadium so this is where we are as uh, media so colleagues have not really arrived <laughs> yeah and that is George how you doing yeah. good morning yeah. we're right here in Ghana it's been quite hectic especially with the network so reports don't go at the right time but we have to do our job. Uh, the, the major challenge right here is that the fact that the venues are so far apart, Cape Coast and of course Legon Stadium at the Accra Stadium. So if you miss the bus, then it's quite challenging for you to go out there and get your job. You're so far apart. So you need to be at the right place at the right time. Get the right schedule to be at the right venue. But so far, so good. Nigeria is, you know, stepping up in athletics. Of course, Tobias Moss is going to come later. Everybody here wants to see Tobias Moss on. In the relays, Nigeria is going to dominate. But Ghana is looking very, very hot. Always want to dominate. But the big one is that Elizabeth Ayana Cho was the only one that won gold medal for Nigeria in Taekwondo. And that shows the importance of scholarship, foreign training, more exposure. She's the only one in the Nigerian Taekwondo team that's got the scholarship to go and train in Germany where she's schooling now. She even came with her foreign coaches. So she's the only one that's qualified for the New Olympics. No surprise. And she's the only one that's won a gold medal for Nigeria in Taekwondo. That was just yesterday, talking about Tuesday. So we're expecting good ones. And for the first time, Nigeria is going to feature a rugby female team that will take part at this uh, Africa game. So we're expecting so much from the rugby team. Arm wrestling was a demonstration. No, arm wrestling was a scoring sport. Surprisingly, everybody didn't expect arm wrestling. I mean, they're just barely young and they are, the future has coined sports to help Nigeria get some good medals also. So, expecting a good day. Today is um, Wednesday, so we're expecting a good day from the rugby team to surprise Nigeria. So, it's Gib George reporting right here at the Media Center at Legion Stadium in Ghana.